Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dead Space. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are at the bridge. Let's step off. Oh my goodness. Come in. Hammond. Kendra's right. She's gonna do that at the beginning of every chapter. Shot. I'll need your help to fix this. Kendra, if you can hear me, see if you can get to the ship's reports. It sounds like you have better access from there. When were you going to tell us about the artifact, Hammond? This marker. I don't know anything about that. It's referenced in the captain's records. They brought it up from the planet. It's on the ship? In cargo. They think it's of alien origin, but I don't know what the hell it is. Really? CEC didn't know anything about it. You're lying. Back up! I am not the bad guy here. We're all shaky right now. You're gonna have to trust that I don't know anything about it. <laughs> We've entered the debris field. Get to the captain's nest. I'll explain everything later. Hammer down. All right, that was a long video. It was like a minute long. Uh, there's an item there, and then the two containers. Don't don't miss those. I think I'm also going to have to use my stasis pack that I have. I didn't make that. Oh my goodness. Plasma energy. I didn't make the best decision in... Oh jeez. <laughs> the fuck? You know, uh, I should have used that power node, I guess. Well, I don't know. I did save it, so... Maybe I'll use it for something else. We'll see. There's a store there. But I don't really have anything to do with that right now, so... Holy cannoli. Alright, uh, we're gonna run around the bridge here and grab all the items that are strewn about. Isaac, impact on the bridge, right at your feet. I'm reading Audio heavy log. damage, but containment looks solid. Life support is stabilized. We've got to get the ADS working. Bridge, come in. We've been boarded. Repeat, the ship has been boarded. We are under attack. Open fire. How are they? they? They've already killed most of the deck staff. We need security back up here immediately. There's the audio log that just played that we picked up over there. Make sure you have a ton of ammo too, by the way. It's that big thing that just punched a hole through the wall. Well, I get the feeling we're about to run into it. So anyways, let's go ahead and meet Hammond down here. Take his little elevator. We're going to be doing the lower half of the uh, the bridge in this episode. Then next episode, we'll do the upper half. Next episode will probably be a little shorter. Here's our level 3 suit schematic. That's nice. Let's head on in here and talk to Hammond. Isaac. Damn, you scared me. Place is making me jumpy. Fucking ass. Place is giving me the heebie jeebies. I know Kendra doesn't trust me, but I don't know anything about a marker or anything it's else. Like, I don't know anything it's about nothing. Let's get these line racks. This mess. And a text log on the chair here. I can fix these boards when the main power routing is shot. You're gonna have to reroute them manually through at least three junction boxes to activate the primary cannon. Oh, but first, you need to activate the atrium elevators from bridge security. You can use them to get to the junction boxes. By the way, Isaac, be careful. I saw something out there. I don't know what. I only got a glimpse. But it was big. Really big. Yeah, I saw something really big too. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that's a text log with the list of the dead crew members so far. Shit! Stand back! Oh, that one was dead when I sealed the pod. These things don't die easily. That was a close one. Thank you, Hammond. We almost died. He was like, shit! Stand back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, that's probably the, the developers, the list of the dead crew members. It's probably all the developers' names. They look like developer profile, like pictures, you know? Okay, I'm going to use this stasis pack. I'm glad I kept this. That's going to come in handy. And I'm going to need at least, like, 50 shots. Because as we approach this door, security, where we're going to open, unlock shit. Something big's about to bust through. Oh, man. All right. So stasis that shit right away. You can shoot it right there in the shoulder. It's a good spot to shoot it. You really want to get it right in the back. Yeah, eventually he'll do this little thing. We're like cowards. You can get a ton of free shots on it. 
Now get out of the way when it's charging, even if it's like all in stasis mode, because it still does a ton of damage. Like it still hurts you. It's kind of silly, but it still hurts you. Same with his punches too. Okay, I was gonna say it's not the best spot for him to do this at. And pretty much as soon as he stands up, you know, just throw some stasis on him. Take care of this brute. That's what they're called. There we go. All right, come on. He's got to be close. There we go. As soon as the body part falls off, you know you beat it. But yeah, this enemy's called the brute. It's a big guy. There's two of them in this stage. This is only the first one. I'm going to try and spread them out. I'm going to make it so it's a little spread out. Whoa. Let's activate these elevators, get them going. Got yourself a power node here, too, and a workbench you probably saw. Line racks, plasma energy. I'm not going to get the, the line gun this episode. Well, I'll get it at the end. I'm going to get it at the end. I'm going to go through this whole episode with just the plasma cutter, though. Um, I think I might want to visit the store first, actually. Well, I, I know I am because I'm going to get the suit. I don't know if I want to get a third power node, though. I feel like I don't really need it right now here yeah let's just hit this while we're here sounds good to me um ooh. cause I have a fully reloaded gun I don't want to use the capacity upgrade air would be nice but I don't think it's necessary kinesis is not necessary and my energy No, I'm gonna save my nodes. I'm gonna save them. I need to get my ammo because, yeah, it's a fully reloaded. I want to get that down to zero before I upgrade. And we're gonna have another encounter here in this main area, so, you know, we can take care of that when that situation arises and then I can unload my clip and then get a full reload. And that'll help me deal with the, the damn the second brute. Alright, let's sell these line racks off, the ripper blades. We're gonna get a lot of ammo that we don't need. Um, I think I'm gonna hold on to these small med packs because buying them right now like won't immediately do anything for me. Let's get the level 3 suit, baby. Gonna get that 10% armor reduction to damage. This 5% ain't cutting it, not on impossible mode, hell no. I don't even know if the 10% is gonna cut it if I'm being honest, probably not. It's not even going to feel like an upgrade. I'm just going to still get smacked around. See, I don't know if this is... Maybe this is the suit that uh, is in all the promotional material. I can't tell... I can't remember if it was suit 2 or suit 3. Or suit level 2 or level 3. I still have half my stasis. I have three uses left. That's nice. I got all these credits. Alright, cool. Yeah, we'll stick with this for now. Now, the game wants us to go here, but that leads us to the next brew. And like I said, we're doing the lower half, so we're going to go over here actually first. I'm going to shoot on down this one. You can head up to level 3 from here as well, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go down. There's two areas in the lower level. Now, this is also... Isaac, oh, wait. Up. I've got over the med side reports. These things are biorecombinators. They take dead tissue, absorb it, and mold it into new forms. One iteration seems to have the sole purpose of infecting corpses. The others... Well, seem to be making corpses to infect. And that body tissue we keep seeing on the walls is part of it, too. I found a report that says it's a habitat changer. Alright, now remember, there are chapters where there are certain audio logs that you cannot get. Oh, jeez! And uh, this is our first chapter with that instance. I think there's only two or three chapters like that, but this is the first one with that instance. You got an item here, it looks like it's 1600 credits for me, that's not too bad. Let's pop on in here, shall we? Get yourself another workbench if you wanna do something up with that. Maybe I'll do it on the way back. I'll hit it on the way back. Another small med pack too. Pulse rounds. Let's get out of here. We got shit to take care of. Gravity plating is malfunctioning. Keep an eye out for any kind of distortion effect coming from the floor. 
Just talking about those, and you, you'll die if you uh, step on one of them. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and do something crappy here. I'm going to try and push him in. And him. I'm pushing both in. Oh, I almost walked into that. Jeez. Boom, that takes care of that. He dropped a stasis pack. Nice. Okay, and as you can see, we also have these dead bodies. Go ahead and stomp these around. You already know what's going to be happening if you stomp the bodies. It's going to be an infector. He gets in here and infects them. It ain't cool. Now, here's the power node room. It's the only power node room in this chapter. Um, we'll hit that in a second because if you don't have a power node right now, there's a power node right in this area that you can grab. Makes things easy, I know. I like it. That's where we came in at, and here's where the power node's at. There's only one item in that room, just whatever's in that cubby. Uh, we're going to head back here. We'll grab that on the way out. Right over here to the right. Look at that power node. Nice. But I'll explain the logs as we, uh, as we unlock them or as we discover them. And how that all works. How you're going to miss one. Text log and flame fuel. Let's get out of the way. Captain's log. Initial infection vectors. Initial infection vectors. It's been less than an hour, but they've spread fast. Flight deck was the first to go after the shuttle crashed. Now almost entirely overrun. We've lost at least half the medical deck and about a quarter of engineering. No information yet from cargo on planet or planet ops, which suggests bad news. This is not what I expected. Done fucked up. Get this flame fuel. It's going to be useless to me. Let's get out of here and activate our first ADS... Uh, Thing, thing of a bob, but not before we head into the power node room here. Bunch of goodies. We gotta stock up for this the second brute fight. You know, I'm not gonna be able to do that with pulse rounds because, like I said, it takes like 50 shots. I think I said that it takes about 50 shots for me to kill a brute. This this plasma cut right now, unless I upgrade the damage, which I'm thinking of doing. Old semi conductor. We definitely made our money's worth back. I'm gonna sell that large med pack. For sure. Get all kinds of good stuff. Power nodes and shit. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, running on in. Now there is a lurker. Small med bag right there. There it is. Now there's a stasis station pretty early on in the next area, so. I'm not worried about using all my stasis up or not. I didn't drop anything. Come on, man. I need ammo anyways. Reroute the ADS. Control system suction box rerouted. I'm getting a reading. Almost there. Oh shit. And here's here's the infector. It takes about nine shots, I guess. Oh no, I reloaded. No! Oh, no, that was my plan, but uh, he comes out of here and he tries to infect these bodies. Oh, I fucking blew it. Damn. Maybe I'll just wait till next episode to upgrade everything, because I think next episode's going to be a little shorter anyways. <sighs> we got to get out of here. We're choking. So I can do all the upgrading stuff on that, and we can just get a move on with this one. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll visit the store. At level two. So yeah, that log that we got, that audio log. Oh yeah, we're gonna have an encounter in this room. That's right. Okay. Never mind. I can still unload. I think I'm gonna have to use a stasis pack though. Cause it's a pretty gnarly encounter and I wanna survive it, so yeah, I'm gonna do it. But uh that, that audio log we got where he was like, Yeah, it's online. Woo! That's uh one of the three audio logs that he gives you every time you turn one of them back on. I find it best by the way to get in this room and kind of funnel them in. I think there's five total. There's three. Remember, don't be afraid to use your stasis if you have it here.
I'm gonna reload. I already know I'm not gonna have enough rounds to finish these guys off. Alright, three shots. Nice. Yeah, it should be it. Just five. Anyways, uh, so we got those. Okay, you know what? Now I can upgrade. Actually, it would make sense now. <laughs> Especially because I'm gonna need the ammo for this, uh, fight against the, the second brute here. So here we go. We can go ahead and move on up this way. Get a full clip in there, and I do more damage, which means it's going to take less shots to kill him. I'm excited. How much ammo do I have, though? I think I might need to buy some. Ugh, it's tough. I need to go sell stuff anyways. I guess I will be visiting the store. Let's see what we got. Alright, sell that. Alright, and you know, I want to have enough credits for um, the line gun, too. So I will buy three nodes. I'll use those later, though. I don't really have anything I want to use them on right now. I have full health, so I don't need the heal. Um, we're going to have a stasis station coming up real soon, so I don't need to recharge that. This is a pretty long video log, too, by the way. Settle down. Kind. Make them listen to reason. Settle down, then. Hold him. By Maritime Law, Article 5469, I hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. The mark must be delivered to the church. Terence, please. I'm sorry, Ben, but I can't let you do this. Traitor. Heretic. Hold his head. Murderer. I'm no captain. Hold him. Jeez, he just stabbed him in the eye. Damn, Doc. Dead. No, it was an accident. I, I had to stop him. Arrest the doctor. Wow, so that's how the captain died. Here's a schematic for the contact beam. That's going to be the third weapon that I purchase. Or the second one I purchase. It's going to be my third weapon. Those will be the only three I have. I don't know why I'm not just stasis, you know. But I'll be purchasing that one later on, obviously. Flame, he dropped flame fuel. Here's that recharge station I was talking about. It's a couple of those. There's another one down here too, by the way. So, don't you know, like, don't worry about using up all your stasis. Use that shit. Use it on these enemies. Help you conserve ammo. You know, that's what we need to do. I should have bought some ammo. So as you round here, don't shoot him, all right? Let him, yeah, fly up there and he drops him. That guy never dropped anything in my practice playthrough. I'm trying to get this guy. But he already has the momentum. I gotta fight the momentum. There we go. <laughs> That's hilarious. I need to save my shit though, you know? Ooh, I whiffed on that. Jeez. Let's push you in real quick. You look easy to push in. Those line racks go, though. I want those. Maybe I'll find them later. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> awesome. Now, one pops out back here. We're going to let him. We're just going to give him some time to get to us. Don't worry about him. The stasis recharge is right there. We got two of these guys, so we're going to have to... Try and catch them both, yeah, with a... You want to do all this before that guy gets here. He's brown in the corner. Ammo, it's good. It's good. I'm looking good on ammo, right? Yeah, okay, I have about 50 shots. Or like 65 or something. Not bad, I can do it. I'll push this guy in, too. I got a strategy for this area. It's funny seeing Isaac go, woo! He'll, like, go up there, too, with him. Man, I really wish I knew what happened to those line racks. But, yeah, like I said, maybe we'll run into him on the way out. That would be nice. My 14 shots and my extra damage. Let's do this. Brute fight number two. I'm ready. Gotta move these out of the way, though. 
Get out of here. Alright, now, as soon as you enter, he's gonna start charging you. So you gotta run up here and you gotta grab whatever ammo is right here as well. Boom, and then get the fuck out of there. Yeah, so you don't let him jaw you. He tried. There we go, going into the... Yeah, that shell. Shell mode. Oh jeez, it's just clockwork. These guys are clockwork. Once you had, once you fought one brute, you fought them all. He just unloaded into his back. That got him? Yeah, dude. He drops a power node too, by the way. It's it's a better kill than that first one. The first one only dropped 500 credits. I think I might not reload and use another capacity upgrade. Ship systems junction box rerouted. I'm making some progress with the tracking grid. Nah. One of the cannons is giving me a hard time. Keep moving. All right, sounds good. Oh, don't want to pass this up. Get that stasis recharge, you know. I don't think there's any enemies on the way out, though. Maybe there'll be some line racks. But yeah, there we go. So that's the second audio log that we got. Now, the third audio log that you would normally get if we would have gone up... Whoa! If we would have gone up top first, um... Isn't the one that we are not going to get. Instead, we're going to get the, like, audio log that it gives you when you complete all three. Oh yeah, we got a couple of bozos right here, don't we? Yep. knew it. I can smell bo- I smell bozos from a mile away. Alright, let's ride this elevator back up and then we'll go save and end the episode. You know, just under 25 minutes is it's, it's what it's looking like. There's not another combat encounter out here, so don't worry. You can go ahead and hit up the workbench and stuff. I'm gonna do all that next episode, though, like I said. The next episode, we'll, uh, I'll go over the audio log thing again. So we're, remember, we're gonna be missing one audio log at the end of this. And you know what? I never actually showed this off at the end of last episode, so let me do it now while we're going up here. This is Chapter 3. We got them all, see? Boom. We got all the logs from Chapter 3. This is where we're at from Chapter 4 right now. We got both the text ones. The rest are all audio, and there's one video, I think. And the one we're going to be missing is, like, right here. Or maybe it's, like, it's like one of these two, I think. It's the one we're going to be missing, so let's head on over here to the save station. And I'm going to thank you all for watching. As always, my name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.